Welcome to Our Little Camper Adventures. I'm Suzanne. In this video, I'm going to show you 12 easy steps on adding one or multiple USB plugs to your camper. Stay tuned. Welcome to Our Little Camper Adventures, where we put a lot of fun into a small space and have the time of our lives. Disclaimer, I'm not a wiring expert. I've done wiring in our house and some wiring in the camper already. The reasons why we wanted to add multiple USB plugs to our camper is that in this day and age, we have a lot of devices that includes your cell phone, maybe a GoPro batteries, um, maybe even your drone or like your ear pods. So we wanted to have multiple plugs to be able to charge those devices and have that go through the 12 volt as opposed to the 110 system since we do a lot of dry camping, boondocking or mooch docking. The list of items that I purchased for this installation are in the description below. Here's the tool that you'll need for this installation, a wire cutter, wire stripper. Whatever USB plugs that you would like, 12 gauge wire, I purchased 50 feet, and 12 gauge inline fuse, 20 amp, 3 conductor lever nuts for 12 gauge wire, 2 conductor lever nuts for 12 gauge wire, and 1 conductor lever nuts for 12 gauge wire. Wall wire covers, depending on where the install is, 3M wire holders, electrical tape, zip ties. So how do you choose what gauge wire is needed? First, I roughly calculated how many amps are needed if I use most of the plugs at the same time, and roughly how long the entire line of wiring will be. I then used a wiring diagram that I found online and came up with 12 gauge would be the best choice. I used an inline fuse between the power source as well as the USB plugs just to protect the devices from any kind of overcurrent or damage. I used the wire conductor lever nuts just to make it easy for the install. Um, also because I'm connecting some wires in a tight spot that the lever nuts made it a little bit more easy and then instead of using the butt connectors. Step one, turn off the main power to your camper. Step two, find and disconnect the red and black wires from the back of the USB plug on the wall that are connected to the red and black power wires supplying the USB plug power you wanna tap into. You may need to remove the drawers to get to this area. Step three, run 12 gauge wire under passenger side twin bed to behind the furnace and drawer frames to the back of the USB plug on the wall. I used zip ties to secure. Step four, connect the inline fuse to the red camper power wire using a one conductor wire lever nut. Step five, connect the other end of the inline fuse red wire to a three-way lever nut and the black power wire to another three-way lever nut. Step six, connect the red and black wall USB plug wires to each of the above three-way wire lever nuts, red to red and black to black. Step seven, connect the end of the red and black 12 gauge wire that you ran behind the furnace to the wire bundle area to each of the three way lever nuts, red to red and black to black. Step eight, run the 12 gauge wire through the storage area under the passenger side twin bed using wire holders, zip ties and electrical tape to secure. Step nine, connect each end of the 12 gauge red and black wires to three-way wire lever nuts where you want the wires to split. I secured the three-way connectors under the bed by the storage door entrance so I can get to the wire connectors if needed. Step 10, run separate 12 gauge red and black wires up to where you were installing the additional USB plug or plugs. The new USB plug wires that come with the devices are short so this extends the wires down to your three-way connectors that you are hiding in the storage area. Step 11, use single wire lever nuts to connect the red and black USB plug wires to the red and black 12 gauge wires. Install the USB plugs in the location where you want those plugs to be placed. We used strong Velcro. You can use electrical tape to secure and tuck into wire holders if necessary. Step 12, connect the bottom of the separate 12 gauge red and black wires that are coming down from the USB plug to three way lever nuts in step nine. If you're not adding more USB plugs along the chain, 
then use a two-way lever nut instead. If you are adding more USB plugs down the line, then go to step 13. And here you're going to connect another 12 gauge red and black wire to the above three-way lever nuts in step 12. And then run that wire to below the next area where you want to split and go to another USB plug that you want to install. Step 14, repeat steps 9 to 13. Now for our particular camper, I wanted to install two more USB plugs over where the GoPower solar charge controller was, but I wanted to hide those wires behind the wall, so I ran the 12 gauge wire through the wire bundle that is along the right side of the bottom vent of the refrigerator, the vent that's on the outside of the camper. In our particular camper, that 12 gauge wire ends up being just behind the cabinet that is below our refrigerator. Since I removed the GoPower solar charge controller off of that wall, I used a piece of ABS 1 8 inch thick piece of plastic and attached the USB plugs to that, as well as the new Victron MPPT charge controller screen to that piece of plastic as well. I connected the last two USB plug wires to lever nuts and then connected those lever nuts to the 12 gauge wire that I ran behind the refrigerator and cabinet. With this particular installation of USB plugs, I did not do any drilling into any of the walls of the camper and made use out of the four screw holes that the GoPower solar charge controller was attached to the wall with. To finish everything off, I used that extra space on that piece of ABS plastic to attach our weather station screen. Obviously, turn the power back on and make sure the plugs are working and congratulations, you did a great job. So here is a rough drawing of how I connected everything together. The 12 easy steps for this installation are in the description below. Thank you for watching our little camper adventures. I hope you found the 12 easy steps to adding USB plugs useful. Please click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Please comment and let us know how your installation went. And subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching our little camper adventures. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with others. Leave a comment so we can get to know you better. Thanks again.